Tim just looks like a big sweaty ogre though, dude. What is going on guys? It's your boy Caleb Caleb Tried, the CEO of Desert Two Step. Today we're gonna check out some live music on Live Music Monday. I just made that up. Let's go. Just perusing my YouTube suggested, and I came across a video as I lay dying my own grave live from Munich. Official live music video. We're gonna check this guy out because yeah, why the heck not? As I lay dying, I could do an entire video on these guys, and I'm not gonna get into it really about the whole. You guys know. I mean, I saw As I Lay Dying at Heaven Fest in like 2011 or 2010. And it was crazy. They were like the heaviest band I've ever seen live at that point in my life. It was a surreal experience, absolutely insane. And then all this crazy stuff happened. And you know what? They're back, they're doing stuff. And I kind of just want to see how they sound live. And that is literally, that's it. If you want to know, which probably nobody does want to know, my opinions on the whole Tim Lambesis, the band kind of coming back together. I'll make a separate video on it. I mean, just just know that I err on the side of forgiveness. So just keep that in mind, I guess. And lastly, my studio is a mess. It's under construction, so don't say anything about it. But let's check this thing out. And I do really like the song, My Own Grave. So without a doubt, we're going to hit this live from Munich as they lay dying, My Own Grave, in 3, 2, 1, go. All right. Got the sick intro. Got the cool intro. Is that live? That sounds like the pre-recorded. That sounds recorded. I don't I don't mind these live performances and you know whatever. I just kind of I wish you know, is that the actual live performance? That sounds like it's just straight out of the uh the recorded. Anyways, dude, this freaking crowd looks massive. This show already looks like it would be an absolute blast. It is packed from the stage to the freaking exits, man. I bet it would have, I bet it was so fun. Now, I don't even know who's in this lineup because one, I'm in America. Yeah, this is totally pre-recorded, which is funny. All right, let's go. Look at that freaking man right there, dude. He is so massive. Tim was always big, dude. For those of you guys who thought he got jacked in uh, whatever, jail, prison, whatever. Dude, the guy was massive before that. When I saw him in 2011, I thought he was the biggest front man I've ever seen in my life. Personally, I think he sounds okay, I guess. He sounds pretty okay. Live, for, live he sounds fine. I'm, I'm curious, more curious, to see how the clean vocals sound because I know that this song has some pretty like heavy-hitting cleans. So I'm more excited to see that. Tim, he looks huge, he looks kind of scary, and his vocals sound pretty good, I guess. The high sounds very good. He, he, he has like a very matured scream, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? <laughs> there we go. What's his name? Phil, I think. He's a guitarist, or the clean vocalist. Those cymbal mutes get me every time. Honestly, dude, that, that chorus sounded really good. I really dug that. This show looks like it would be so much fun, but kind of like I said, dude, I think that Tim has a very, like, matured scream. It's just very matured vocals. I don't know. Kind of, like, reminds me of how, I don't know, Jake Lures has, like, very a very matured vocal tone. Kind of like how Tim does. It's just good. It's just good. And like, I know there's people out there who will never support these guys, but you know, it's a good song, dude. If you're just like not on the bias of anything other than music, it's a good song. Oh, 
He's killing it with the cleans, man. Actually killing it with the cleans. That's very impressive, you know? Sometimes cleans sound like poop live. They sound very good. Got some crowd engagement. Guitar is down. Dude, they have like, man, they have been on the stage for so many years. I just love, number one, crowd engagement. It's one of the most important things ever, I think. In a live performance, if you include the crowd, trust me, you will be, get, it, it's just, it'll work out way better for you. So I love the crowd engagement. Dude, I think it sounds, man, it just sounds good, dude. It, it sounds pretty good. Okay, I would love to see these guys live again. They got the fire, classic metal trope, man. Tim just looks like a big sweaty ogre though, dude. He looks like freaking Sasquatch running through the forest when he's going through. Their drummer, who I believe is like an OG drummer, he's got the wildest beard right now. Dude, you know, you always know it's crazy when you can see someone's beard from like the back. Who and I, I believe that's their original drummer, but what is that thing? That's the craziest beard I've ever seen in my life. I love it though. Looks good. Give me that again. Bro, that sounded pretty good. Yo, Tim, that was a pretty sick one. Dude, that was pretty angry, man. I dug that. That was a sick ending. That was a very angry ending. All right, you guys, that was SLA Dying My Own Grave live from Munich. I needed to check out a live performance. If there's a live performance you want me to check out, dude, I would be more than happy to check it out. I love live music. I, I even love it more now that it has been so difficult to go to because one, I live in the middle of freaking nowhere, so I have to go hard if I want to see live music. And two, just because of the pandemic and junk really shut it down for a long time. I absolutely love that. It was fun. It was cool. You know, dude, I know there's a lot of people out there who will never support SLA Dying. That is totally fair. You know, you're allowed to support or not support whatever you think. I think from a musical standpoint, that was a very solid song. Clean vocals sounded great. Tim sounds very good and mature. The vocal or the instrumental sound good. The drummer's got the most wild beard I've ever seen. Everything sounded good. But yeah, you know, it's a totally different topic when we're talking about what happened with SLA Dying. If you forgive them or not. If you think that, you know, they should still be banned if you support them or not. This is just purely for the enjoyment of seeing live music and that's it let me know what you guys think we'll catch you on the next video